Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl Pinky, and I'm in my hometown, Dallas, with my friend. Asshole and Gold, man. <laughs> Asshole and Gold, that's your name? Yes, ma'am. Where did that come from? Uh, it was really given to me, like, by my fans, I'd say. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Or not even necessarily just my fans, just my own lookers. You know what I'm saying? People think I'm, I'm highly opinionated. I don't got no problem saying what my opinion is. So sometimes people take that as disrespectful or rude or they tend to title me as an asshole. <laughs> I'm a nice guy, man. You're a nice my, guy, look asshole. Look at my smile, man. <laughs> look at my smile. Okay. <laughs> so where you from, asshole? I'm outside Houston, Texas, man. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, Really from all sides of Houston, man, but I, I, I spent most of my life on the north side, north side of Houston, Texas, man, Homestead. Okay, what brings you to Dallas? My career. Your career? Yeah, man, I, when I uh, first got to popping, I'd say maybe about a year and a half, two years ago, I got introduced to a uh, cat named Shamar Atlas. Uh, he a, a big uh, show promoter and stuff out here in Dallas. And uh, ever since we've been connected, man, our relationship kind of put me in the realm of moving to Dallas like immediately. And I've been, I've been here, like I say, uh, I told you earlier, I've been here going on about two years now. That's what's up. So how long you been rapping for? <laughs> I've been rapping forever, man. I've been rapping, I've been rapping, see, 15 years or so. You know what I'm saying? Just being real seriously invested into it and being in, in the height of uh, what I think of the height of, uh, of my career span is, I say in the last couple of years though. Like okay. the last two or three years. So do you do uh, most of your music here in Dallas or do you travel and work with different producers? Like, uh, At first I was doing a lot of my music elsewhere. Like I, I travel to Atlanta a lot like I used to usually be in Atlanta like twice a month uh, that's usually where I do a lot of my recording there but I, I record in California New York uh, but I, I also just uh, made my own lab at the house about everything I needed to just stay in the house man so I ain't gotta necessarily uh, travel to record if I don't want to you know what right. what I'm so I do a lot of stuff at home now too that's cool that's cool so, uh, what's your rap style like? If you could describe it for people who haven't heard your music, my style is to not have a style. Okay. Yeah, I want to hit you with something different every time. You know what I'm saying? I want to be the nigga who get out there boxing with his left foot forward, then he switch it up. He got the right <laughs> foot forward. Then sometimes the nigga standing even footed. You don't know if he about to knee you or what the fuck. You know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> so that, that's that's me, man. I do a little blues. I do hip hop, country, R and B. Poetry, Zydeco, whatever, whatever you in the mood for. If I feel Zydeco, like, man, that's the first. Like, whatever, whatever I feel like doing at that time. If I get a Zydeco beat that speaks to me, asshole on the Zydeco song. For sure, for yeah. sure. Have you worked with any like TSF? I know you say you're from Houston. Um, you, you uh, have them? I? Uh, indirectly, I did. I worked with some of their production team or, or some of their engineers, but I haven't uh, personally worked with with nobody from TSF. Though I'm open to it, but I, I haven't. I haven't so far. Okay, I just thought I'd shout them out for a little, for a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm but uh, what shows you got coming up? What what you got coming up for us? Uh, show wise. Uh, I don't think I got no shows planned in the near future. But as far as my uh. What I'm doing, I'm working on a project right now called Goldwater and another project called The Ace Team. I'm finishing both of them right now. I actually got a release for my single coming on Thursday. Uh, that's available to pre-save right now. Uh, it's called Burn For Me, it's featuring Scarface. Okay. Yeah, man, that's gonna be big. I'm actually going to Houston. Uh, like I said, uh, it's gonna be like a meet and greet party on the 17th at Sneaker Politics, so down on Deep Ella in Dallas. And then I'm going to Houston. Uh, on the 19th to start filming for the video. Hopefully we get it shot in, in two yeah. or three days or so. That's yeah. what's up. So you you kind of work with a lot of, you know, big name artists. Uh, how do they find, how do you guys find each other? Like how y'all getting uh, linked up like that? It's, it's here and there. A lot of times, like I said, I do a lot of traveling. I do a lot of moving around. I just bump into people sometimes. Yeah. Uh, half the time, they just find me just based off of talent. Uh, Erica Badu inboxed me just 
just out here in my music, yeah, yeah. And just was like, bro, you got to come perform at my birthday party. She's amazing. How yeah. was that performing at her birthday party? Oh right? man, that was the, my biggest show yet, man. Like. It, it was it was amazing, man. The feeling the, of the crowds, voices, and screams and stuff like that did something for me, man. Like that was, was like one of my biggest shows yet. But uh, outside of Erica, I, I meet a lot of stars, man. But uh, my management is responsible for some of that as well, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause like I say, my manager do a lot of the biggest uh, shows in Dallas. You got a dope you know personality. Like, where does that come from? Where's all that energy coming from? I don't know, asshole is his own person, man. Like, it really is. I excite myself sometimes. I tell people certain things sometimes they might not necessarily understand. Like, I don't even read books, but I find myself to be intellectual still. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I study myself. I'm my own philosopher. I'm my own author. You know what I'm saying? So, I know I draw a lot of a lot for myself, man. So what, uh, like, what goals do you have? Like, what would you hope to come from your music career? Uh, a lasting impression of righteousness, man. Like, I, I, my overall goal is to change the world for the better, man. I feel like people don't let worldly things and negative, evil things become, like, the norm. Mm -hmm. and, it, and not only have they became the norm, they upset people if you speak on them. That's why I'm an asshole now. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just telling you, my nigga, you shouldn't probably be getting your dick sucked in front of that little baby <laughs> right there. Right. It's a child, <laughs> stupid fuck. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but it's like, ah, oh, nah, you tripping. That a nigga on that dry shit. He want hate that. Uh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm just, it's so much stuff that's become normal as fuck. Like, that's just wrong. You know what I'm saying? And my, my lasting Im impression on the world, I want that to be to, to change that or at least shed light or attention on it. If I'm not the thing, that, that make the change, at least let me start somebody who can, you know what I'm saying? And I want to have fun doing this shit at the same time, you know what I'm saying? I'm human. Most definitely, yeah. most definitely. Um, if, you have, if you could give any tips or advice to somebody who's starting their career in the music industry, what would it be? Travel. You got to travel, and, and not only you got to travel, you got to spend money. You got to spend money, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh... Work with different producers, work with different videographers, work with different photographers. The more times you touch somebody else's circle, the more your ripple can can outreach, you know what I'm saying? So do your best to just network and work with different people. And try not to be biased to, to the things that you used to. And uh, just try to be open to, to doing and trying new things. How important is your social media, you know, marketing uh, to you? Now, it ain't it ain't important at all, really. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I do it when I keep up with it as, as much as I, I can lately. But I done lost the desire for social media altogether. Social media is something that can't even be controlled by the people that made that shit. You right. know what I'm saying? That's why the, the algorithms of Instagram change every two weeks because they can't even stop people from doing, from expanding. So Instagram pretty much became like the internet part two. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? You got the internet where people use to do different things and then you got Instagram where people use to do different <laughs> things. So now it's like, well, if I ain't got to build a website, pay for somebody to manage it, pay for somebody to do this or da da da, and I can just make an Instagram page and do that shit right here and people gonna come shop with me right here. People yeah. gonna come engage with me right here. Then now I got a free platform to get rich. So now Instagram like, oh nah, y'all got me fucked up. Y'all ain't finna just get, try to get rich off our shit. So now we gotta put all these different algorithms to stop people from even seeing your shit. And, and then I got different problems on top of that. You know, my name asshole and gold, so. For sure, yeah. that, I'm pretty sure that causes a lot it of cause, It causes a little bit. <laughs> yeah, how, little how bit. are you planning to, you know, market that name, like, in the future, why? So, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a level thing. People, Erica Badu know who I am. Jazzy Faye know who I am. Epic Records, Def Jam, these big labels, these important people in business know who I am. But I have not necessarily been solidified in the actual business, like as far as the people who are connected to the Instagrams and the Googles and the 
search engines, the you know what I'm saying, the people who make ratings and stuff like that. But it's an it's, it's a near future thing. You know, it's plenty of rappers with with names that are uh, something that's that's supposed to slow them or stammer they 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 movement. But you know what I'm saying, they they get around it. Uh, I can't think of dude name from uh, I think he's from New York. What's what's dude name? Name like something with like shit or something like in it, but. <laughs> He big though, and like it ain't no, it ain't a problem for him. He still run his ads, he still do his campaigns and shit like that. So it, it just really take me getting the attention of those people who got that say so. You know right. what I'm saying? Would you ever modify it, like you know, maybe putting like some X's where the S's are, or you know what I mean, something like that to modify for people? Nah, cause they don't work. Yeah. As long as they can tell that it's asshole, they say no go. Yeah. So I, I what I do do is. It's an acronym for my name. My name is Asshole in Gold. So for the acronym, I put A I N G. So it's A N G. Gotcha. Yeah. That's dope. I appreciate you coming to Lapinky the show and giving us your little spiel. You know, telling us a little about yourself. You got any music dropping stuff that we can look forward to? Uh, those projects, the 18. Man, that should be out. Uh, it's a collaboration project with me and. Half of Houston, Texas. <laughs> Man, got Trilly Poke on it, uh, Chucky Trill, Jeff Shelley, uh, Jay the Great. This is just a, a, a variation of different producers, and uh, it's actually a video, a, a documentary shot to the whole process of that. So it's gonna, it's gonna be a big project. That and then, uh, like I say, Goldwater is gonna be coming out fairly soon as well. Okay, My so we'll stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. You want to give any shout outs before we let you go? I ain't leading the connect group, you know what I'm saying? Reason for the season. Fame game records, you know what I'm saying? And of course, your brand as well. It's LA Pink. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you.